Hi everyone, my name is Ben and myself along with other members of the Wonder Production family are delighted to be part of Poems from the Palace. It's such a shame that we couldn't be with you this summer, but let's hope that things will change soon and we can all have Panto for Christmas. Well, what we're all going to do for you now is a wonderful poem by the beautiful Josie Whitehead called A Trip to the Pantomime. Tell me, what can you see at a panto? Whatever can make the children grin. Well, this theatre is packed with so many, and so many who are still coming in. All our tickets we've shown to the lady, and she says we can go to our seats. And we've brought along popcorn and sweeties. For at pantos, all children like treats. Now the orchestra's playing some music, and the curtain is rising at last. The performers, the costumes, the backdrops. Well, for certain, they can't be surpassed. Look, the nice guys have come on stage now, and the kids are encouraged to shout. For the baddies are waiting to catch them, whilst the goodies don't know they're about. So the children all start shouting loudly, whilst those nice guys all tremble with fear. <laughs> and the baddies just hide round the corner. No, oh, it's the same at the Pantos each year. All their costumes and makeup are special, and the children are all quite impressed. All those pantomime dames wearing dresses are all men. Well, as I'm sure you've guessed. <laughs> Silly jokes keep us giggling for ages. <laughs> and clowning's important, of course. But pantomime's never quite finished. Unless there's a pantomime horse! Now there's one thing a pantomime must have, for its story must take pride of place. Then you'll tell all your friends of this panto. With a grin that will make them guilty. <laughs> <laughs>